Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out at me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Transformers Headmaster Brainstorm. So this is really, really cool. Released in January of 2021, this is brand new and starting to hit stores right now as of the time of this recording. This is a Walmart exclusive, it's a set of four figures, they each retail for approximately $20. And what this is, it's made to look like the G1 figure because of the packaging. It's actually a reissue of the Titans Return Brainstorm figure. He has been redecoed and stickered up to more closely resemble the G1 figure. And then we've also got Arcana down here. He's the headmaster. This is a new headmaster. This is molded to look again, more like the G1 headmaster would have looked. So we've got this uh, box, uh, window box right here with the small window in the front showing us Arcana in his robot mode. And we can see right next to him, we've got, uh, we can kind of see a little bit of peeking there of uh, Brainstorm in his jet mode. And then we got that really cool artwork, that G1 style artwork of Brainstorm right there. Top of the box is gonna show us some steps, how we're gonna get from vehicle to robot mode. Side of the box, we've got pictures of Brainstorm, both in his vehicle and robot mode. Same thing on this side. And then along the back of the packaging, we've got that really cool splash artwork, that 87 style. Uh, showing us the, all the cross cells, all the different figures, the headmasters. You've got Fortress Maximus up there. Looks really, really cool. And then right here on the bottom, we've got a short bio for Brainstorm and his tech specs right next to that. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's get this opened up and go check it out. Out of the package, Brainstorm comes included with his instruction sheet, a handgun, his Titan Master Arcana, and Brainstorm himself, which comes packaged in vehicle mode. And I absolutely love this toy and again it's it's just one of those things i missed out on the titan returns figures the first time around i just i just kept on them and i'm kind of glad i did because i'm really liking these g1 reissues with the new head and the paint jobs to make them look like the original g1 figures i really am enjoying this set a lot so let's put these off to the side real quick instruction sheet again done in the g1 style i love that artwork up here with the grid pattern and all of that the whites with the reds very very cool stuff uh, very reminiscent for me so i am enjoying that a lot uh handgun real quick we'll take a look at that so you can see it and again i think it's a missed opportunity that we didn't get two of these um i think for the g1 reissues they really should have just gone ahead and given us dual weapons since the g1 figures had those but there you go very nice and and i absolutely love the way that this figure stores the weapon this is a perfect example of proper weapon storage and vehicle mode and we'll look at that in just a moment let's take a look at the uh titan master or the headmaster arcana or if you're going by the japanese continuity uh brainstorm himself and again, he looks really nice. I want to try and get him focused because I really love these new retooled or remolds or if they're brand new molds, then new, whatever these guys are. But I absolutely love these little headmasters. They look just like the G1s did. Fantastic. And again, articulation, he's got a, a ball jointed head. So, you know, you can move it side to side, back, back and forth a little bit, rotate it. Shoulders are on a ball joint. You can go forward and backwards, but not all the way around because of the backpack really hard to keep these little tiny guys focused uh and again you got a little bit of in and out which helps for posing it but you can't go far you know too far out or else you'll pop them out and then you've got two joints on the legs which are uh, molded together so you can make them sit with those legs straight forward or you can bend them at the knees for different little sitting positions and just kind of looking at him all the way around a lot of great detail on this guy. And again, missed opportunity by not adding a flap to cover up the head, but there you go. Not bad at all. And then you've got Brainstorm himself in the vehicle mode. And I absolutely adore this vehicle mode. And I, as I understand it, uh, again, uh, I'm just being told, um, I don't have the original figures to, to you know, kind of look for myself. But as I understand it, this is a retool of the Titan Returns blur figure. Uh, just with a different nose piece and the added uh, wings here, 
Obviously, new head and paint job and all of that. Um, I again, I don't have either of the original figures to, to to check for myself, but I can see it. I can absolutely look at this body and go, yeah, I can totally see a blur out of that. So, but still, a very good selection for brainstorm. I think this makes a fantastic brainstorm. And again, that detail and that paint job on him looks absolutely amazing. This vehicle mode is approximately seven inches long, so a nice size vehicle for this set. He's got a wingspan of about four inches, and from bottom to top here with the wing, he's about two. He's got, looking at the bottom, he's got wheels here and here. He's got three little wheels. So we move these guys off to the side. He rolls really, really nicely, which I absolutely love. And just kind of going all the way around and checking out all the detail, you got that a really nice light blue with the yellow window there, the grace on the side going into that off-white on the back with the Autobot symbols right there on the wings. You got what look like some thrusters here in the back and just kind of going all the way around. It is a shame, you know, again, missed opportunities. This would have been a perfect place to just give him two uh, two guns. Instead of giving us this, make both of these separate pieces and have the dual guns here, uh, which is exactly the way the G1 figure did it. That would have been awesome. But as it is, uh, you can store the weapon along the bottom here. There's a peg here. There's a peg here and the port and a port. So these actually line up together. And again, this is a perfect example of weapon storage and vehicle mode done right because that sits in flush right there. It blends in with the front of the jet and it doesn't impede rolling. Again, you can still roll him all around and he works perfectly. Cockpit, you can open this up, push the seat back. We can take our canna here and set him right in there. Just like that say like it's easy and then he's giving me trouble oh, there you go so you can sit him in there close the cockpit bring the seat forward and now he's sealed in there and he's ready to fly off to his next mission fantastic i absolutely love this so let's go ahead and pop him out um if we're going to go by the instructions i guess i have to show this uh this this next bit is weird so there's kind of i guess an attack mode uh of course he does have the seat the cannon seat uh weapon seat thing for for the uh titan master but we're going to remove the gun. We're going to separate the arms, bring them forward, flip the figure or the vehicle around, flip the nose cone up and over, remove the nose, and then flip that back down again, and then just kind of straighten all of this out. And it just kind of tells you to leave it like that. Set that aside. Now, on the cannon, little cannon piece here, this is going to flip forward on the front here. This is a little skid right there and we can take the gun and plug it in right there that right in the same exact spot we had it for vehicle storage and then we're going to take our canna and set them right in there and there you go there's a little cannon for our canna uh and you know because it's got the little skid it can actually stand on its own which is pretty cool and because you got the little pegs here you can actually plug this into different city bots um or bases and you know totally uh playable so um, interchangeable play, which which is which is what is so much fun about these figures is the playability on these is really really cool. Now on the instructions, it shows you this. It shows you to plug it in here. And yes, we're keeping the vehicle upside down, and that's supposed to be some sort of uh, an attack mode. I, I I don't know. I don't get it. This looks terrible, but just to show it to you, I am not making that up. That is right there. That's that just uh, I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Yes, they, I mean, they have plenty of playability. We don't have to come up with it. This is just pushing it. Oh, that's craziness. Um, I guess I should before I started taking them apart, I should have done a comparison. But let me just put them back in vehicle mode real quick. Transformation is not too difficult. So we'll just do that, that and plug the farms back in. I don't get that. I I, need, I I mean, I wanted to show that off because it's in the instructions, but come on, give me a break. Uh, we'll go ahead and take our can and set them off to the side. Pop that back down. And uh, just a quick comparison. Here he is with another Titan Returns figure. Here is with Optimus Prime because it's the only one that I have on my desk right now that's in vehicle mode. Uh, so that's the one that keeps popping up in this review. So there you go. There's, uh, there's your comparison for you. All right, let's get into transformation. And we're going to start... Uh, well, we'll start right here at the bottom again. Just remove that gun. Set that off to the side. And take the wings and the arms one more time. Go ahead and pop these off. These are pegged in, as you saw. So there's a peg and a port right there. That's where they were pegged in. So we can go ahead. Oh, man, I, that, this thing drives me nuts. 
since we're here, fold the seat down, bring the cockpit down and push it all the way down like that, which as you'll notice, kind of pushes this off. When you clip this in, the cockpit uh, kind of pops up. If you push that down, it pushes the cockpit down. You see that? So we can go ahead and just, uh, we'll just leave it there for now. Bring the arms out and rotate them. And then right here under the fist, we got this little um, panel right here. We're gonna flip this over to expose the fists. Around the bottom of the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and take these flaps here and push them all the way forward, covering the wheels. And then these bottom panels are going to open up like that and like that. Come on, there we go. That's going to allow us to bring this whole piece down. Just rotate it down like that. Straighten this out. Go ahead and bring that nose the rest of the way down. Come around the front, separate this bottom piece, close this up. There's two tabs, there's two ports. Close this up to form the legs down there. And then finally bring the shoulders all the way up and clip them into place. And then you can do with the wings whatever you want. Uh, you can have them out, you can have them in. It's completely up to you. And the only thing he's missing now is his head. So we'll bring in our canna. And again, we'll just get them nice and straight, fold them over to form the head and plug them right into place. And there is Brainstorm in robot mode looking absolutely fantastic. Here in robot mode, Brainstorm is approximately five and a half inches tall at the top of the head, almost six and a half if you want to go to the top of these wings right here. He looks really nice. Let's get him in close, take a look again at the details. Look at that face sculpt. Again, this is perfect G1. Now on this one, I know for a fact because I went back and I watched. Uh, so on the Rebirth uh, series, what would the, or the mini series or what would have been our season four, he had a face mask, and that was in the U.S. cartoon. Uh, but in the Japanese cartoon, he did not have a face mask. He had an exposed face, just like you see here. So this is accurate to the Japanese animation. Um, I, I'm still not sure about Hardhead, um, but I know on this one, I, I'm, I'm literally looking at the images right now on the monitor next to me. So I know that's the, that's, that is the case, at least for Brainstorm. Uh, and again, a lot of great detail. This figure just looks so good check this guy out really love the detail on this guy that chest uh cockpit there looks so good and again i do miss the flap with the tech specs that you had on the original figures but you know what are you gonna do uh, but yeah he looks really nice this is a fantastic update to the g1 figure he doesn't look as g1-y as hardhead and chrome dome did but he's still he this is such a fun figure. This has been like, like my first impression with him was kind of mad because Chrome Dome and Hardhead just looked so G1. And then this one, and I guess that comes, if it's true, the whole, and, and, and the more I look at him, the more I'm starting to believe the whole retool from Blur kind of a thing. So I, I, I can kind of see because of the retool, he's not as uh, close to the G1 uh, figure as the other two would be. So my first impression with this guy was kind of mad, but the more I play with him, man, this figure is a lot of fun. Going all the way around, we got some. We got a backpack there, uh, but it's not too bad. And we're gonna do something about it here in just a moment. Oh, I forgot. Let's step on transformation. Uh, so let me go ahead and pop this leg back open again. The tail fin actually rotates in and tucks away inside of the leg. And then close that back up again. So there you go. I forgot that during transformation. I can already hear the angry comments being typed. <laughs> going all the way around. Yeah, this guy looks really really good and he is a fun figure to play with articulation because the titan master's head is on a ball joint that means that this guy's head is also on a ball joint so you got some tilt side to side you got some forward and backwards and of course you can turn arms can go forward and backwards all the way around you can go in and out and is that a ball joint i think no okay it's a hinge so you can go up and down or in and out rather you got a rotation right above the elbow bend at the elbow and rotation at the wrist we have a rotation at the waist legs are on ball joints forwards backwards in and out rotation at the thigh bend at the knee nothing at the feet but still very nicely poseable figure we can go ahead and give him his gun and there you go now the backpack let's talk about the backpack so you as you saw earlier we can take this off for that crazy uh, attack mode <laughs> but we can take it off again and now you can use this as a weapon and you can, you know, you can use that peg right there on the bottom. 
And you can hold that as a big giant dual gun, which is kind of cool. And then you can also take it to the side of the arm and use it as a shield right there. So either way, I personally think either way looks great. Actually, it's, it's a really fun alternative of what to do with that big backpack that was sticking out. And if you don't like either of those, you can still plug it into the back. And that still looks good to me, in my opinion. So yeah, very, very nice figure. I absolutely love this figure. It's so much fun. A couple of quick comparisons. Here he is with G1 Highbrow. I don't have a G1 uh, Brainstorm, unfortunately. So... We're just going to have to compare them to Highbrow um, because Hardhead is just way too big. Uh, so I, I like using Highbrow instead. He's, he's a little more comparable uh, to this guy. But there you go. So you can see what these guys look like together. And then here he is with another Titan Return figure, Optimus Prime, Voyager Class. So you can see the size difference with these guys. So there you go. Yeah, very fun figure. I'm, again, I've, I've been saying this a lot, but I am glad that I skipped out on the original offerings of these Titan Return figures because I am absolutely loving these G1-styled reissues and repaints and redecos and retools and whatever else they did to them. Um, and I would not have wanted to purchase these figures twice, so I'm glad that I'm buying them now the second time around. Absolutely love it. And if you're like me, if you're a G1-er, old-timer like me, uh, this is a must-get for your uh, modern collection. And I think that about does it for the Transformers, Headmasters, Brainstorm, um, G1 style Walmart exclusive reissues. <laughs> what did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there. If you want to hit on that, I certainly would appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see and I'll talk to you next time.